Everybody good? All right, um, I thought uh, I thought today was a uh, was a good day. You know, it, it was some up and down moments. Um, you know, just pushing the intensity of the work. Um, but I thought our guys, you know, they they did a nice job of uh, you know continuing to take the game plan things. We are working to, working to get that uh, cleaned up. Still some things that we have to, to clean up here the next uh, next couple of days. We lead up to game day, uh, and just you know continue to push for that edge. I know we've talked about that throughout the throughout the year. Uh, cannot have cannot have moments or uh, you know lapses, which have been have showed up at times, um, you know, in, in just our overall execution or being able to, uh, you know, perform at a level that I know that we're capable of. So we have to go continue to push and fight against that. And so um, it's been a big, big, uh, you know, point of emphasis for up uh, for us. Uh, there's some really good periods, some good competitive work, you know, some some emotions that uh, you know that were uh, that were flying today. But it's also, you know, it's ma making sure that we go and and we can execute, uh, you know, for. 60 minutes of a game and, and be able to play our best ball. So uh, we still got uh, still got steps to take and, and uh, in our preparation. But you know, excited for uh, you know what's ahead on Saturday. That emotion manifests itself in like a chippiness. I guess you know, how do you interpret it? I mean, it's it's uh, there's a uh, you know it's got to be a controlled emotion. You know, I mean, there's you know anybody can you can put on and just start talking and uh, you know get but like make sure that every play when that ball is snapped that it looks a certain way uh, that there is that edge that there is that physicality that there is that discipline um, you know part of toughness is being able to be disciplined in the moment uh, whenever things are, are uncomfortable for you uh, you know anybody could start you know you know to want to operate outside of, of, of the, the standard or anybody can can go and do you know, other things but you know whenever you have, you're willing to do things that are not comfortable or when you're willing to you know, to, to showcase that that toughness, I mean, that's that's, that's something that's critical for us. You talked on Monday about Rocky Long's defense. Is it diagnosing the pitcher before the snap? Is that the toughest part of it? Well, I mean, the pitcher changes, and I mean, they, the the pressure pack packages that they have, which I mean, they're, they're going to pressure a good amount, and it's not just like blitz. I mean, it's it's line games. It's uh, you know, uh, you know, the variations in coverage. I mean, you, you try to you try to find uh, you know, you know things that that you can that can help you throughout the course of the game, but I mean, it's, that's um, you know, really good, which he is. I mean, he, you know, they, they, they change up the looks. They have, you know, looks that you think are going to be one thing, and then, you know, they, they present, a, you know, another, another option. So, uh, you know, it's, it's for the quarterback, it's, it is trusting your eyes, you know, you know, you know from what you see pre-snap and then how it adjusts to you post-snap. Uh, same thing for the offensive line, you know, for the receivers, you know, all, all, all things that we do. Uh, you know, so we got to work and, you know, have a great, great week of film study, try to, try to continue to, to find things that can help our guys, uh, you know, uh, you know, play as fast as possible, but then you know there's going to be a lot of things how you respond to, to the variations of things that he'll that he'll show. Yeah, I mean it is. I mean it was, you know, it it took it took a game. I mean, you know, better part of getting into fall camp you know, where you started to see him really get in shape, and uh, you know, I mean he he had to go through you know some challenging moments and he had to go through some things that. Uh, uh, you know, and just getting to that point, but uh, you know, he's continued to work. That's one of the things I've really loved about him is that, you know, I do think that he's got a, a good work ethic, a good desire, um, and now you can see him starting to play faster and playing more confident because, you know, one, I mean, he's starting to learn what to do, and uh, you know, not not worried so much about you know his his uh, you know physical condition, and uh, you know, you're starting to see the talent really really show up, and I think he's going to have a great future in front of him. Uh, you're excited to see him continue to grow. The health standpoint, yeah. I mean, we we so uh, we'll see how it continues to progress through the week. I mean, there's you we've know, got some guys that were uh, that were out that, that are moving around, and uh, we've had a couple guys that were banged up uh, you know, in the game that I think will be available. Um, but we'll see. Then you know, obviously some of them they're gonna have to have a good next 48 hours. So uh, we'll see how that all goes. But I mean, it's it's, it's all part of it. You know, we got to be ready for whoever's whoever's out there, uh, play one or you know, play 70. That if you get the opportunity, you got to go. You got to show up and play big. Yeah, I mean he's um, you know he, he's a very experienced player. You think about him; he's been playing here since he was a true freshman. Um, you know, he's had some big plays and big moments. Um, you know, he's disappointed the other day that didn't didn't uh, didn't finish it on a couple. But I mean, you know, to to miss you know whatever it was six weeks, eight weeks. Um, you know, he it's it's one thing to not not be able to physically do it, but it's another thing to be present. And you know, he is always whether it's in the meeting room, whether it's out there on the practice field. I mean, it's about learning. It's about you know being ready for when you do 
you know, get cleared and can go practice again that you've, you, that you have improved. And I think he is a great example of that. Um, you know, I had to do it last year as well, which is, you know, and, and he ended up having a very impactful second half of the season. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's something he was used to and, and really kept a positive attitude. And, uh, you know, we could count on him to, to really help us and continue to elevate, you know, our receiver room. I'm sure there's a couple different words that could be used for it, but it was it was necessary. Let's say that, um, you know. But yes, it was it was good to see our guys in a close game, tough moment. Um, you have to go win, and I mean to go, you know, all three phases we you know, were, were necessary in that game uh, to be able to achieve that. And uh, you know, so yes, that was a it built some confidence in the work that we had put in. And you know, I, I think the, the game prior I've talked about you know before. Uh, you even seen this the second half of the game prior, where they didn't stop; they just kept fighting. Uh, we, you know, obviously, you know, didn't weren't successful overall, but um, you know, it was it was still some some positive steps. Uh, you and know, just the belief, and you know, I think our guys have, have grown in their belief, and uh, you know, that game was it was definitely something we needed. What's the birthday boy gonna have for dinner? Um, well, I don't know. Good hey question. Guys. I'm not going anywhere. Awesome. I'm gonna be in the office working, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I, know, I know the focus was on Florida State, not the opponents, but can you guys just bring up the fact that your score in the last game probably is not indicative of Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we talk about all things on, on you know, Sundays, it's, you know, the focus is on us. And, you know, there's plenty of traps out there. Like, you, you can sit there and there's plenty of things that can distract you from the outside. You can look at scores. You can look at uh, overall records. I mean, it's a 4-2 and two football team that, you know, are, you know, statistically have done a lot of good things. You know, they're coming off, you know, a tough game, you know, for them. I mean, you watch the Clemson game and they're very competitive throughout it. And, you know, they a play here, a play there. I mean, it's it's good. But, you know, there's been games that we played this year that, we, that wasn't to the best of our ability. And, um, you know, game you know, was a lot closer than maybe it should have been. So, um, you know, it's it's about don't, don't get distracted by things that don't matter. The things that matter is, is the way that we approach every day. Uh, you go out there, I mean, you turn on film and you see talent. You see ability. This team very capable, absolutely 100%. And you know they, they're gonna, they're well coached, and they gotta, uh, you know, they're coming here. We gotta go play our best ball. Well, thank you guys. Happy birthday, guys.